a shocking crime that landed two Virginia Tech students behind bars, accused of kidnapping and murdering a 13-year-old girl. And now we're learning new details about how they allegedly planned their horrifying step-by-step -step plot to end the girl's life with chilling detachment. ABC's Eva Pilgrim takes us inside the case. I've never had one of my friends die. She was the sweet Virginia middle schooler found murdered. But tonight, the details of Nicole Lovell's short life and gruesome death coming into focus, along with new concerns about the dangers of social media. And she seems like she was a nice girl. Any understanding of why they would have made fun of her? Or? Just from her scars and just because it's middle school. Nicole had faced terrible medical problems as a child. At the age of 10 months old, Coley received a liver transplant fought for her life. But now those scars were fading. She was older, making connections on social media. So I think that's why she started going to Facebook. Someone to give her attention and make her feel loved. Making that awkward transition from childhood to young adulthood. And her friend says she was meeting men online. I found out she was dating a guy that was over the age of 18. You could tell he was way too old. And shortly after, she says another mysterious man. On January 27th, Nicole pushed her dresser against her door and climbed out of her bedroom window, carrying only her phone and a minion blanket. I have had it to right here with people suggesting that this little girl is somehow responsible for all of this. What does she know about flirtation and dating and sex? The girl was lured out holding on, clutching on to her binky, her minion blanket. The police say she snuck away to meet this man. And why wouldn't she have trusted him? David Eisenhower was a track star, good looking, successful. I realize in the moment that I'm doing things that other people wish they could be doing. He'd even been on television. And yet I still have goals for myself because there are people who are better than me. And I will personally not stop until I reach my peak performance. But Nicole never came back. Soon, almost a thousand volunteers were searching and authorities scoured for leads until they were able to track the last messages from Nicole's phone, leading them to Eisenhower. When the investigation led us to 18-year-old David E. Eisenhower, a Virginia Tech student. With Eisenhower in custody, authorities soon locate Nicole's body 80 miles away in North Carolina. It's about two miles from a home owned by his extended family. I'm sure that those, something that Nicole's family would like to know is why did she have to end up here left in this condition and discarded in the manner she was. The investigation also leading authorities to identify and arrest what they say is an accomplice, a friend and another student from Virginia Tech, Natalie Keepers, charged with helping Eisenhower dispose of the body in these woods. I'm assuming that it was probably done after dark and they may have thought they were further away from the road than they actually are because there's no lighting out here. But prosecutors allege keepers also helped Eisenhower plan the gruesome murder, plotting for weeks, they say, scouting locations and even buying tools. When police showed up to talk to keepers, prosecutors say she immediately tried to warn Eisenhower, texting him police. It was then she allegedly told FBI investigators that Eisenhower killed Nicole and put her body in his Lexus. Keepers allegedly saying she was excited to be a part of something secretive and special. That's really a stunning comment. There is a great deal of callousness about that. She and Eisenhower had discussed how the murder would be committing, cutting this little girl's throat as though they're talking about an object. Retired FBI profiler Dr. Mary Ellen O'Toole saying this is a complicated case with multiple motives spelling disaster. There's synergy that came together that made this a very lethal pair. A very preliminary determination of the cause of death is stabbing. For Nicole's mother, it's too much to bear. Her favorite color was blue. Nicole was a very lovable person. Nicole touched many people throughout her short life. Yeah, I can't do that part. While authorities wait for the results of an autopsy, they have concluded that Nicole was using a messaging app called Kick to communicate with Eisenhower, raising questions about possibly dangerous encounters. I'm willing to say Kick is the devil for young children because it's like a free ability to text anything you want, and parents can't see the phone numbers that are coming in and out. Experts say many of these anonymous apps are popular with teens and predators.
You can sign up as anybody you want to be. It really becomes a private hunting preserve uh, for some of these pedophiles. Here's how Kick works. Download the app for free, add any name and any photo, then you can send messages, photos and videos and you don't even need texting service. Parents sometimes take away these data plans thinking that, well, the child has abused it, but they only need a, a Wi-Fi signal to be able to communicate. ABC reached out to the people who run Kick, who told us Kick cooperated with the FBI for their investigation. Kick cooperates with law enforcement to combat child predators anywhere in the world, either upon provision of a court order or in emergency situations such as this one. Some apps can sort users by geographic location, others by school, and some by age. So how do you keep your family safe? The first thing parents need to do is set ground rules. Uh, secondly, they need to know the technology and know the, how the parental controls work. And third, they need to talk to their kids. They need to have ongoing conversations about safety so that kid, when it comes time, makes that safe and smart decision. And it's not just Kick. There are many other apps out there that kids can use to hide things from their parents. Blogger Liz Gambiner showed my colleague David Wright how easy it is to hide incriminating photos. When you open it up and I type in my password, and I hit the percentage sign, you realize it's a hidden photo album. Sending photos is as easy as point and click. Kids swap the files in texts or with apps such as Snapchat, Kick, Yik Yak, and Whisper, which makes sharing large numbers of files fast and easy. Kids will always be savvier than mom and dad, and I think that they will always be one step ahead of us. That's just the nature of the game. But Nicole's friend Carrie Cook says she tried to tell an adult months ago after she noticed that Nicole was communicating online with an older man. I went to the officer at my school and wrote down his name on a piece of paper and handed it to him. The Blacksburg Police Department denying she alerted the officer about Eisenhower, saying had a student or even Nicole herself reached out to him in advance of her disappearance about anything that would cause concern, he would have acted on it through the appropriate channels. Did you make this up? No. I think if he would have done something, then he would have seen all the guys that were on her Facebook and he could have stopped all this. Yesterday, Nicole's family filing into court wearing blue clothes and ribbons hours before her burial, mourning a daughter gone too soon. For Nightline, I'm Eva Pilgrim in Blacksburg, Virginia. A preliminary hearing for Eisenhower has been scheduled for March 28th.